Hi everybody. Good evening. Welcome. Hi teacher. Good evening. Hi there. How are you? Hi teacher. Good Hi good night. Hi good evening. Good evening teacher. Good evening. Everything okay? Yes, sir, right. Yes, fine. Good. Okay. Fine, teacher. Thank you. I'm pleased, you know, to be here. We're going to start with our new class. And the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to pass the hand. Remember, once you listen to your name, take present. Okay, let's begin. Alfredo. The handle, you know where I say pep. The handle. Present. Thank you. Present teacher. Claudia. Thank you. Claudia. Sorry. Right. Present teacher. Thank you. Present Tell teacher. Me. Okay. Tell me. Here. Edit. Present. Thanks. Eduardo. Evelyn. Evelyn, Fatima. Fatima. Thank you. Priscilla Garcia. Present teacher. Thanks. Priscilla Mendoza. Present teacher. Okay. Ingrid. Present teacher. Thank you. It is. It is. Present. Thank you. It being. Present. Present. Thank you. Consuelo. Present teacher. Thanks. Karen? Present teacher. Thank you. Kevin? Present teacher. Thanks. Leah? Leah? And here. Marta? Hi, teacher. Oh, thank you. Present. A pleasure. Marvin. Marvin. Here, Mirna Patricks. Present. Thank you. Present. Mirna Rador. Present. Thank you. Mirna Zuniga. Present, teacher. Norma. Present teacher. Oscar. Present teacher. Thanks. Paula. Present. Thank you. Orlando. Present teacher. Orlando. William. Hola, hola. No. Present teacher. Thank you, William. Let's continue with Jennifer. Present teacher. And Yolanda. Present teacher. Thank you, Yolanda. Okay. Can you mention now? I think it's not a problem yet. Tell me, you're telling me for a car. Hey, they were present. Can you tell me? We are going to mention that I don't have a list yet. Let's see what else. Leah? Hola, veo por acá. Marvin? Oh, okay. Comment there is a little bit. All right. Well, uh, let's go with the screenshot, please. I'm going to take two screenshots. I will tell you, let's go on the camera three. Please, everybody, switch on the cameras. I'm going to take a screenshot. Vamos a cámara, voy a tomar dos capturas ahorita. 
que es porque tenemos eh, dos secciones, digamos así. En otra parte aparecen los demás, así que debo sumar los Vamos a la cuenta de tres. Uno, dos, tres. Vamos con la segunda, a la cuenta de tres. Uno, dos, tres. ¿Qué completa? Sí. Ok. Bien. Bueno, antes de iniciar, quisiera eh, comentar lo siguiente. Y es con respecto a... Ahora temprano les compartieron un mensaje en, en el grupo. Y es con respecto a... Quiero volverlo a comentar por, porque sí... No quiero que tengan esa dificultad. Por cierto, pueden ayudar nuevamente con la captura. No nos sale completa. ¿no? ¿Sí? Vamos con otra captura, please. Imítame. Vamos a la cuenta de tres. Uno, dos. Uno, dos, tres. Ahora sí. Sí, ahora temprano recibieron un mensaje. Por cierto, me escuchan todos bien. Porque sé que estoy bien en, en algunas partes. ¿Están bien? Nice. Ok, thank you. ¿Más? ¿Están bien? Interferencias. Bueno, me, me avisan si no me escuchan bien. Ok, les decía. Um, ahora recibieron ustedes un, una información con respecto a, a lo de los usuarios. Es muy importante que verifiquen eso. Es decir, que aparezcamos. Les muestro acá la captura que tomé. Esta visualizar. Es muy importante que ustedes acá en esta barra aparezcan con su nombre completo, como se los indiqué en las primeras clases. Que aparezcan con su nombre completo, tal y como aparece en el DUI. Por lo que explicaban ahora en el mensaje, en el WhatsApp, si no aparecemos así, probablemente eh, no lo tomen como asistencia. Les voy a leer el mensaje para que no lo, no lo leyeron temprano, no lo han visto el mensaje. Y voy a leer típicamente esa parte donde dice: Entonces, ¿Quién debe aparecer con su nombre completo según DUI? No, que usan, en ese caso usan, o aparecen con nombres uh, como 1235 o A10S de Martínez, etc. Ejemplos así, ¿ok? Ejemplos así. Y de acá, si no. Lo cual es una de las primeras indicaciones que se dio antes de iniciar el curso. Lo cual hacemos el llamado para que a partir de la clase de hora se registren con su nombre completo, según Rui. De lo contrario, el sector no tomará en cuenta su asistencia de clase. Por, por eso es que es muy importante que se separen con su nombre completo. Esa es la indicación que se nos da um, en las primeras clases o antes de iniciar el curso. Que si no aparecemos así, que veo algunos que aparecen solo como William, en el caso suyo, que solo como ese William Vázquez, si no me equivoco. Es, así es que aparece en el DUI, porque si no se les va a afectar, o veo que aparece con su nombre completo. Vamos con más. Sí, como, disculpe, como ahí en asistencia siempre pone ahí primer nombre. Entonces, y solamente puede poner nada más uno, ¿verdad? Y el apellido, sí, pero, ajá. Por eso se lo ponía William Vázquez. Tiene que ser completo, entonces. Sí, debe ser completo, como lo, lo, lo mencioné en las primeras clases. Probablemente que, quizás no, no me escuchó en las primeras clases o no sabe en el momento que lo dije. Pero igual, no está mal repetirlo nuevamente porque si no, no le van a tomar la asistencia. Y eso, recuerden que es mi sabor. Por eso que toman la 
yo me encargo de, obviamente, facilitar los contenidos, ayudarles acá, realizar cuadros de asistencia, cuadros de notas, pero en sí, en sí, en Sofor, revisa todo esto, por eso tomo capturas se ven de pantalla y por eso todos deben de tener su plan más día. Eso es, eso en Sofor lo, lo transmite, en Sofor lo indica. Vale, eso verifican los videos o las grabaciones para ver que todo es en orden. Si alguien no está, se, se contacta, se hace el seguimiento. Así es que eso es muy importante tomar en cuenta todo eso. Quiero ver qué más. Oh, con respecto a la plataforma, quisiera saber cómo vamos. Repito la información de ayer. Creo que se compartió también en el grupo. No sé si fue para solo para nosotros. ¿Un recordatorio? Sí, solo para nosotros. Lo siguiente, con respecto a la plataforma, como lo dije ayer, en la semana 2, es decir, esta semana, vamos, deben de tener completados en la sección 3. Sección 3. Sección 1, sección 2 y 3, en la semana 2. Sección 4, en la semana 3. Y sección 5, en la semana 3. Okay. que repite esa información porque se nos dijo ahora que les recordáramos acerca de esto. Karen. Una pregunta, conforme este, con la plataforma, yo llevo hasta el 4, pero este, la 1 no me la marca, digamos como que si no lo hubiese pasado, porque todas me, me tira una, un chequecito verde, que son las que ya pasé o ya los terminé, pero el 1 no me lo marca, no sé si hay problema en eso o, o cómo, o lo reporto el día de mañana. Sí, no, ya al ver, digamos, usted le da en curso. Ajá, allí. Digamos, a, me da la sección 2, 3 y 4, me las marca con un chequecito verde que ya están completas. Uh -huh. Pero la 1 ah, no me la marca. Entonces, ajá. Entonces, no sé si es error eh, del, de la plataforma o, o cómo, porque me parece como que si no la hubiese completado. Si gusta, podemos hacer una, algo. Mándenme una captura uh, de forma personal. Y yo lo voy a compartir. Lo voy a compartir, voy a preguntar acerca de eso. Bueno. Pregunto mañana y. Va a estar bien. Mañana, ¿ok? Gracias. Claro, es un pequeño de... Gracias. Igual que sí, sí. detalles, eh, por muy pequeños que parezcan, me, me notifican, ¿ok? Me, me informan acerca de eso. Ah, ahí tiene Rolando. Ven, Claudia. Sí, eh. sí. El... Teacher, eh, a mí en el, la sección número 2 no me aparece. La, la primera sí me aparece ese chequecito al final donde dice sección 1, pero en la sección 2 no. Entonces, yo creo que hay que ver todos los videos quizás. O sea, me parece completo, verdecito, todos la, todo lo, los... Sí, ese es otro detalle, exacto. Pero quizás sea por eso. Ser... Sí, yo voy a volver otra vez, estoy regresando, ya pasé todo, ya está en verde todo eso, pero al final no está el chequecito, entonces me voy a regresar a hacer todo el 2 otra vez, para ver si lo agarra, si no voy a, a reportárselo. Claro, probablemente sea por eso, exacto, va a ser olvidado. Y como pueden observar, cuando voy en cada, en cada punto, cada sección, ustedes en las indicaciones, por ejemplo, pasamos el video, vemos el video, eh, agregamos comentarios, etc. Seguimos y como pueden observar, se va agregando chicos. Entonces, yo no los tengo todos porque pasa que no desarrollo esa parte, si no quiero ustedes. Están acá, siguen en orden y al final, pues a todos se les ponen verde, todas estas secciones. Puede que sea por eso, quizás le falta alguno, Karen, verifique, si no, no se preocupe, me puede dar la captura igual, yo lo voy a reportar. ¿Okay? Hagamos eso, eso que reportaba su compañera, Orlando. Sí, este, yo quería 
comentar un poquito de esto también. A mí me aparece de esa forma, ¿verdad? No, no me aparece en los cheques. Solamente ya en el 3 sí me aparece el cheque en verde. Porque terminé también la, la, lo del... ¿Cómo era? Mister, Mister. 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 Ok. Lo terminé ahora y me apareció así, con verde. Entonces, este... Pero en el progreso, si verificamos el progreso, ya parece que, que está terminado, que no nos hace falta nada. Ya aparece el 100%. Porque la persona que me estaba dando información de, de Insafor me dijo que lo que importaba es que llegáramos al 80% en la, donde dice información del curso. Perdón, en progreso. Sí. De ese progreso. Sí. Entonces, eh, el 80%. ¿no? Entonces, como ya había llegado al 100%, no había problema. Sí, sí, entiendo. Bueno, en ese caso, pues. Si gusta, hacemos esto, verificamos esto bien detenidamente. Y si no les sale este cheque, porque sí, yo sé que les debe de, de aparecer probablemente, eso significa que han completado la sección. Si gustan, pues verificamos eso. Si no les aparece, me notifican, me pueden mandar captura y yo me reporte. Porque a veces puede que sea un pequeño inconveniente. De bueno, a veces sucede, a ver, no, no hay ningún problema con eso. Se verifica en caso de corte. Tengo con eso, ¿eh? Que no se salga más en dudas. Ok, bueno, well, let's begin. Let's begin. Let's begin with the class. Uh, listen. Today we will have this topic because remember that last class, specifically on Monday, last Monday, we were talking about the verb be, remember? Verb be, affirmative and negative sentences. Now let's talk about questions. Yes, no questions. And let's say, in this case, word question, we will use word question, the be, but we will include WH questions. Okay? I'm not including. Yes, the plot. Okay, let me change some. Very good. Okay, well, this is class number six. Today is Tuesday, May 25th, 2021. What do we have for today? Okay, these are just no questions. Let's begin with just no questions. Let me ask you something before to continue. Do you remember the verb be? What is the verb be? We have two forms. Two forms. What is the verb be? And is are. Um, is are, exactly. That is the verb be. Um or is. Um or is. Um or is. And we will give you some examples, right? We will use an affirmative and negative sentences. I am a teacher. I am an English teacher. You are a doctor. He is. A nurse. He is a nurse, right? But that, that, that was the way we were just saying the verb be. The verb be, the verb be in affirmative form, right? Affirmative form. He is a nurse. He is a nurse. And we were using negative form, right? See, when you say, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a doctor, but a doctor. He isn't soccer player, etc. So that was the affirmative and negative form talking about the verb be. Affirmative. Negative. Now we continue with questions. Okay, we'll be use questions now. I am an English teacher. Now let's continue with questions. Let's begin with yes, no questions. Yes, no questions. And the verb be, as you said, is um or is. Number three, um or is. Okay? So we begin with yes, no questions. Yes, no questions.
Okay, when we use testament questions, it's because we have short answers. Short answers. Let's see what is the formula that we use. The formula is the following. This is the formula. We use the verb B, that is at the beginning, the verb B. Then we use, well, in this case, we can have a different subject. We can use, now we're going to use these two forms that we were used in the previous class. This, this. This, this. And we have a complement at the end. Of course, we can use different subjects because let's talk about a general, let's use a general, you know, structure. For B, we can have a subject. And a complement. Okay, you can use he, she, they, etc. Right now we're using or we're having this. This, 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 this. Okay, that is a structure for just the questions. Let me give you some examples. Some examples. Is this a camera? Is this a camera? Good. We have two possibilities. Yeah, someone someone say yes. Yeah, someone say yes. We have two ways we answer this question. We can say yes, it is. No, it's not because those are short answers. Short answers. Say yes, or we say no. Yes or no. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Is this a camera? What do you think? Yes it, is. Yes, it is. yes, it is. Yes, it is. For example, look at me. Is this a camera? No, it's not. No, it's, no, it's not. No, it's not. Is this a book? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Very good. That is the first possibility that we can have. Is this a camera? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I want to ask you that. Yes, it is. 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 Yes, En mi caso está lloviendo, pero se escucha muy bien. Ok, perfecto. Yo sí, yo, yo sí tengo problemas, dicho. Ahí en, en okay. ese sentido se oye yeah. como cortado, pero no es siempre. Dice okay. que dice que probablemente quizás está lloviendo, o sea, por la misma lluvia que, que la señal es un poco cortada. Bueno, de hecho acá estaba lloviendo. Vamos a estar preparados. Pues, uh, Claudia, Orlando, I saw the raise your hand. You can levantar su mano. Sorry, teacher. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, listen, let's analyze this question. Is this a camera? That was the first example. Is this a camera? Remember, we follow the structure. Follow the structure. Is is the verb be. Yes. It's a subject. The camera is a complement. That's why we follow the formula. We begin with the verb be. Is this a camera? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. Very good. Let's go with another possibility, another question. One more time. Is this a camera? Is this a camera? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, let's go with a second possibility. Second question. Are these sunglasses? Are these sunglasses? Now the question is different. Different. Yeah, we have yes or no. But in this yes. case, we don't say yes it is or no it's not. We don't say that. We say yes, yes they I, are. I, yes they are. Yes they are. No, they're not. Again, yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they're not. 
Okay. Again, are these are these sunglasses? What do you think? Are these sunglasses? Yes, they are. Yeah, they yes. are. Yes, yes, they are. are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Okay. Let me use again my my objects. Are these sunglasses? No, are they are. No, they no, are not. They are not. No, they are no, not. They are. No. You can say no, 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 no. No, they are not. That is a long form, or you can just put they trust. No, they're not. No, they're not. You can say no, they are not. No. You can say no, they're not. No, they're not. That is another possibility. You can say no. No, they aren't. So you have three possibilities. No, they are not. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Okay? Again, um, Josue, are these sunglasses? Look at me. No, they're not. No, they're not. Okay. Fatima, are these pens? These pens? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Good. Good. It is. Are these some glasses? Yes. 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 They are. Yes, they are. Yeah. Yes, I are. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. Uh, Oscar, Sam, is this a notebook? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Good. Yes, it is. Thank you. Let's see. Um, Marta, is this a marker? Is this a marker? Repeat, is this a marker? Repeat, teacher. Yeah. Is this a marker? No. No, they, no, they are. Listen to the question. Is this, is this a marker? It is a marker. Is this a marker? Yes, it is. Or no, it's not. Yes, it is. Yes, it no, is. Okay. Uh, in this case, yes, it is. Because I'm showing you the, the, the okay, object. Okay, yes, there is. Yes, it is. It's okay. As a case, see, porque estoy, estamos okay. 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 Yeah. Very good. Por la lluvia, no escucho bien, teacher. Oh, okay. It's okay. It's okay. Well, I wanted to, we're going to analyze an example. For example, say, yes, are these some glasses? Again, this is the verb B, are these objects? And the sunglasses is the contract. Are these sunglasses? Yeah, they are. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. They're not. Or no, they are not. So it depends on the way you answer the Any questions so far? Pregunta acá. Questions? Yes. No, no question. Let the students to make up. Thank you. Okay, moving on. Let me give you now WH questions. WH questions. In this case, it's different. So we follow, let's say, a similar formula, but we include something else. We include something else at the beginning. Let's see the, the formula. Don't forget, this is verb B. Am, um, are, is. Am, um, are, is. Let's see what is the structure that we follow. This is the formula. So now, what do we have at the beginning? We have a WH word. Yeah. A WH word. Yeah. For example, do you remember WH words? Do you know WH words? Where? 
When, Where, who, when, why, 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 when, what, how, what, who, where, what, who, how, how, which. Exactly. Those are the least questions. The least words. Huh? The least words. Why, where, when, what, who, how. And we use them for different purposes. Different purposes. So this is the formula. Let's continue with the formula. We had the WH word, the beginning, now at the beginning. Then we continue with the verb be, am or is, am or or is. Then we have the subject, in this case, this, or this, and the complement. Now we'll continue with this you know, formula because now we're talking about the latest questions. The latest questions. And now at the beginning, we have the latest word. Latest word as the verb be, subject, and the complement. Let me give you some examples here. What's this? What's it's this? a cell phone. It's, it's a cell phone. It's a cell phone. It's a cell phone. Here. What's this? That is the first W-ish word. W-ish word. What? What? We use it for things. For things. What? What's this? What's this? It's a cell phone. It's a cell phone. Remember, what is a contraction of what is? What is? What is this? What is? What is this? What is this? What this? It a cell phone. What's this, William? It's a cell phone. It's a cell phone. Um, the Zelda, Garcia, what's this? What's this? Zelda? What's here? It's a... Uh... So this is the one that teachers use in the, in the board. It's a pencil. Um, so this is not a pencil. This is a... Marker. It's a marker. It's a marker. Okay. But again, the center. It's. It's a marker. It's a marker. Marker. Yeah. Thank you. I will go with Irvin because I saw that he raised his hand. Irvin, what's this? It's a pencil. It's a pencil. Pencil, sorry. Excuse me, it's a, it, it's a pen. It's a pen, yeah. It's a pen. And red. as you said, well, we have pencil. Yeah, it's a red pen. It's a red pen. Exactly. It's a red pen. That's all right. Um, Ingrid, what's this? What's this? It's a mouse. It's a mouse. Exactly. So we ask for things or objects when we say what, what. Now let's talk about where, where, where are the keys? Oh, uh, uh, sorry. Let me analyze the, the, the question. Analyze the question. What is this? What is this? Okay, we have a WH word, uh, the verb be. And we have a it's, subject. It's, we don't have a complement in this case. It is, it, it's, it's okay. What is this? What is this? It's a cell phone. What is this? It's a marker. What is this? It's a mouse. I don't know. Let's go now with the second example. Where? When do we use where? 
Do you know where? Where? How do we use where? What is the purpose of where? So we use a for. For example, place. when you say place, yeah, a place, or the same places in general, and we use it for oh. positions. Positions. Okay. For example, right now, where are the keys? Where are the keys? Okay, I'm asking for a position. Where are the keys? You can say they are on the table. They are on the table. They are on the table. Where where are the keys? They are on the table. The keys are on the table. So we're saying a position on the table. On the table. Sobre la mesa. Okay? What is a position? What is a position? Okay? Uh, for example, well, I will ask you this question. But yeah, imagine that my computer is in the desk. Okay? Where is my computer, guys? Where is my computer? Is my computer this? It's on the table. This is on the desk or on the table. This okay. table. Yeah, my computer is on the desk or the table. Okay, excellent. So now we're asking for a position on the desk. It is. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let's analyze this example. That is another example. Where are the keys? That was a previous example. Where are the keys? Where is the W is war? R is a verb B. Okay. Keys, that is it, the subject. We don't have a complement. But it's not necessary. <laughs> Okay, the formula, no, the formula. That is the way we ask questions with information questions in this case, this form. Questions about this? Not this year. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's go with more examples. More examples. Here we go. Look at the picture. Look at the picture. Look at the object. It's a wallet. Is it's this a, a TV player? Yeah, it's a wallet. Is this a TV player? No, uh, it is a. No? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. No, it isn't. Exactly. No, it's not. No, it's not. What's that? If? It's so previously, it's? it's? It's a wallet. It's a wallet. It's a wallet. Uh, Kevin, is this a TV player? No, it's not. It's a TV player? Kevin? Yes, uh, it is, or no, it's not. No, it's not. Uh, no, it's not. Yeah, yeah, because it is a, it is a wallet. It is a wallet. Thank you. Aula, is this a wallet? It's a wallet? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. Good. Okay. Let's go with another example. Look at the, the object. Are these keys? Are these keys? Yes. Yes, yes they are. are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Are these shoes? Are these shoes? No, they're not. They're not. No, they're no, not. They aren't. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Happy. Exactly. 
Very good. Let's see in the chat. Oh, okay. Sí, probablemente sigamos con los problemas de las señales porque va a haber varios lugares de acá, de la zona. Es que no se preocupen, igual si no escuchan alguna parte de la clase, pues me pueden preguntar o no les recomiendo pues, que veamos la, la grabación, el video. ¿okay? Entonces, es que hoy lo voy a subir para que esté listo. Okay, let's continue. Look at the picture. What, what, what's this? What's this? It's a CD player. It's, it's a CD player. It's a CD player. Exactly. So now it's a WH question. What's this? Remember, the previous ones, those are just a question. Just a question. Okay. For example, again, it is. Is this a wallet? No, it's not. No, yes. it's not? Uh, yes, yes, I, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah, yes, it is. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, listen to, listen to me. Listen to the question. Uh, Eduardo, are these sunglasses? No, they are not. No, they are not. No, they're not. Exactly. Other lots. Very good. Let's go with more examples. What's this? Is it a CD player? It's a CD player. Yeah. It's a CD player. Now I need you to look at the following image. Look at the object. What do we have there? Glasses. 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 Exactly. Glasses. Okay. Look at the glasses. The glasses. Let me ask you the following. Where are the glasses? Where are the glasses? They are on the table. They are, they are on the table. They are the, on the table. They are on the table. Thank you. Jennifer, where are the glasses? Where are the glasses? I'm sorry? Where are the glasses, Jennifer? They are on the table. On the table, yeah. They are on the table. Rolando, yeah. Que eh, la pregunta es que eh, a veces nosotros eh, solo decimos eh, si no hacen la pregunta where are the glasses, nosotros eh, siempre decimos a veces on the table. Sin agregar el they are. ¿Es correcto o es incorrecto? Yeah, you can say it. Say it. Why? Because people is asking you for that. People is asking you for a position. It's, it's valuable. Porque nos están preguntando por una posición. What are the glasses? On the table. It's okay. It's okay. What? You have to follow the structure. You have to follow the prompt. Yeah, they are on the table. Pero debemos seguir una estructura. Es que en inglés, en inglés es, es bien, debemos ser bien cuidadosos con inglés. Debemos usar respuestas completas. Es decir, they are on the table. However, you can say on the table. Where are the glasses? On the table. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Mercedes. Teacher, este, cuando estamos hablando de que si es tal cosa, digamos, pero en singular y decimos no, it's not, podemos hacer la contracción, a la contracción de is not, o sea, isn't. Yeah, that, yeah. ¿Es correcto was, hacer yeah. no, it isn't? Yes, no, it is not, but before no, they are not. No, they, no, they're not. Sorry. No, they aren't. With this one, you can do it. No, it is not. No, it's not. Or you can say, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. You can use the three ways. I want to be the of performance.
Okay. Again, where are the glasses? As I said, they're on the table. On the table. On the table. Let's go with another one. What are these? There. Listen, what are these? They are the shoes. They are shoes. Oh. Yeah, we don't say it because it is for singular. We say there because this is plural. They are shoes. They are shoes. Again, are these. They are shoes. They are shoes. Yeah. Another example. Look at the image. What do we have there? ¿Qué podemos ver ahí? Books. 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 Classes. Yeah, books. Classes. Classes, exactly. Yeah. Notebook. Notebooks. And we have a backpack. Glasses. Back. Glasses, yeah. For example, if I ask you, where are the books? Where are the books? They are, they are school they bags. Are they are, they are in backpack. In the back or in the school bags. Okay. They are in in the backpack. So they are in the backpack or they are in the school bag. It's okay. What about if I ask you where are the glasses now? What are the glasses? Next. Where are the glasses? They are next to the backpack. Okay. They are next to the backpack. Yeah, awesome. Very good. Another possibility, we have a sofa. They are next to the back backpack. Es correcto también? Yeah. Yeah, because they are together. They are close. They are the, next to the backpack. They are next to the book bag. Yeah. Can I get sorry? Repeat it otra vez. They are next to? They are next to the book bag. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Very good, very good. Another possibility with the glasses, we have a sofa, sofa. Okay. <laughs> On. Where are the glasses? There on the sofa. The sofa. They, are, they are next to the back. The back, they yeah. Are on, is, they are on the sofa. Yeah. They are next to as I say, next to the back. That is the first possibility. Exactly. And the other one is said there on the sofa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is the way. Very good. All right, again, guys, any questions about when we use just my questions and W's questions? Preguntas? Dudas? No, I'm sorry? But again? Oh, it's everything clear? Almost clouds, a second. Let me know, please. Let me know. Going up to the chat. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, listen, so let me give you some extra questions. Extra questions, because yeah, we're talking about WH questions. For example, how are you? That is another question with information questions or all these questions. How are you? How are you? You can say, I am good. I am good. How are I you? I am fine. I am fine. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I am excellent. Very good. I am Very terrific. Good. Very good. Very good. Very good. 
Empire. Very nice. So so. Very nice. So so. I am happy. I am happy. Yeah. Perfect. Excellent. Very yeah. good. Very good. Very good. Another possibility is how old are you? How old are you? How old are you? This is a W word. This is a verb. B. This is a compound. This is a subject. How old are you? I am 26 years old. Okay. I am 26 years old. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Okay. Alejandro, how old are you? I am 22 years old. 32 years old, okay? But again, Alejandro, 32. 32. Another possibility, another example would be why. Why are you happy? So when do we use why, guys? When do we use why? Why? Yeah. So we express reasons. We express reasons. Expresamos razones. Estamos justificando algo. Reasons. Why are you happy? Happy with. I am happy because studying English. Because because the life is funny. Yeah, <laughs> I tell you. I am happy because. Oops. I am happy because as I said, uh, life is funny, or life is good. Okay. That is the answer because I study English because life is good, life, life is funny. So we give a reason. And this is the verb B. Why are you happy, guys? For example, let me see. Mirna Batres, why are you happy? I'm happy because I have a dog. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. That is perfect. Thank you, Emma. What about Karen? What why are you happy, Karen? Why are you happy, Karen? Um, I am happy because I have much money. Okay, good. <laughs> Can you give us some money? Can you give us some money? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Thank you so much. Well, let me give you a non-example. Non-example of questions. For example, when. When is another one? And you ask, when is your birthday? When is your birthday? Again, remember, we follow the, the structure. Let me show you. We follow the structure. When, always were, is, for me, your birthday, that is the subject. That is the subject. Okay? When do we use when, guys? When do we use when? 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 Let's the when. Yeah. I am so we, and the time. Yeah, we express time, we express dates. Exactly. When is for time, it's for days. Yeah. When is your birthday? I can say my birthday. Birthday is on October. It's in October. In October. Okay, so I'm saying the, the date. I'm saying my my birthday. My birthday is in October. That is the time. That is the date. In October. And we use the verb be the questions. For example, uh Mirna Suniga, when is your birthday? When is your birthday? 
pierna. When is your birthday, Mirna? Mirna, Sonia. For example, in my case, Mirna, my birthday is in October. What about you, Mirna? When is your birthday? When is your birthday? Mirna? Let's have a look at Mirna, please. Who is Rolando? Rolando, when is your birthday? My birthday is in April. April, in April. Very good. Here. Okay, who else? Um, oh, Yolanda, very good. Yolanda, when is your birthday, Yolanda? Then Evelyn, good. My birthday is in, is in September. September, okay. My Thank birthday you. is in September. Yeah. Thank you, Yolanda. Birthday. Evelyn, yeah? What is your birthday? My birthday is in November 15, 1979. Okay, repeat again, sorry. Teacher. Evelyn? I'm sorry, give me a second, sorry. Teacher. Evelyn, what is your birthday? My birthday is November 13, 1979. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, Evelyn. Okay. Claudia, when is your birthday? My birthday is in June. In June? June. June. Oh. June. Thank you. Eduardo? Sure. Sure. What's, what's the teacher size? I think it is, right? My yes. birthday is in August. Okay, uh, mm. thank you. Birthday is in hours. It is, yeah, tell me. No, no, yeah, tell me. Hola, dijo Iris. No sé quién dijo teacher. Oh, yo teacher, Marta. Oh, Marta, okay, Marta. Dígame. Is correct que yo diga my birthday was in April? No. Well, yeah, I mean, it depends, it depends. But yeah, because your birthday was in April, okay, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah, you can say, you can say, my birthday was in April, mm -hmm. in April, because it's that is an action in the past. It is, it is, mm -hmm. es correcto. Porque okay. esa fecha ya pasó, okay. ya pasó. Yes. Yeah, okay. pasado, thank you. But right now, yeah, we're talking about present time. Present time, but it's correct, Martha. Yeah, absolutely. Mercedes, when is your birthday, Mercedes? My birthday is in October. In October, okay, good. Thank you. And I want to listen to somebody else. It is, when is your birthday, it is? My birthday is in August. August. Repeat again, August. August. Oh. Yeah, thank you, Edith. All right. Um, questions, guys, again? Questions about this? Preguntas, dudas? Algo que no está claro? Vamos que alguien levantó la mano. Evelyn Orlando, perdón. Repeat, Agosto. August, 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 yeah, August, very good, you're welcome. Okay, moving on to the following, to the last part, sorry, this is the last part. What are we going to do? We're going to practice the questions. But I want to do everybody, everybody, take an object. Take an object. No, don't go ahead. Take an object. In my case, I'm going to use myself, okay, myself. But in your cases, you can take another object, right? It could be a pencil, it could be a pen, it could be an eraser, it could be a 
I don't know, another device, it could be a laptop, it could be a, a tablet, etc. What do you have to do? You're going to look at the ideas provided. You have to take an object and ask and ask your questions about them. So what are we going to do? Listen. In my case, I selected my pen. And I'm going to ask you. It could be a chess no question or it could be a W's question. Puede ser una pregunta de sí, no? Puede ser una pregunta en la cual queremos obtener más información. For example, is this a pencil, guys? Is this a pencil? Yes, it is. Mm. Yes, it is. No, it is. Uh, yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. No, it's not. Yeah, it's a pen. It's a pen. It's a pen. Good. So you can answer yes, it is, or no, it's not. Another possibility, or if you want to ask a WH question, it could be, what's this, guys? What's this? It's it's a pen. 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 It. Okay. So what I want to do again, you're going to use or you're going to take an object. It could be a pen. It could be a pencil. It could be a cell phone. It could be a, I don't know, a wallet, a watch, etc. Take an object, and we're going to start asking questions to our classmates. Okay. Is it clear? What we have to do. Estamos claro con lo que vamos a hacer. For example, I'm going to begin. I'm going to begin. I'm going to have some volunteers. Some volunteers because, yeah, it's almost repeat, time. Repeat, teacher, please. Sure, you're going to select one object. For example, I'm going to select this one in my case. You, you're going to select one object too. It could be a cell phone, it could be a, an eraser, it could be a notebook, a book, etc. An object that you have near you, close to you, okay? Debe ser un objeto que tengamos a la mano, que tengamos cerca, okay? In my case, I'm going to select this one, okay? And I'm going to start with one question, only one question. It could be a chest question, or it could be a talvez question. Puede ser una pregunta de sí, no? Solo haremos una pregunta, okay? Una pregunta. Vamos a ir, un, vamos a tratar de hacer unas cuantas, unas cuantas preguntas, porque tenemos poco tiempo. Okay. Voy a seleccionar un par de voluntarios. Voy a iniciar y vamos a ir de esa manera. Okay. I will begin and I'm going to select someone. Let me see. Um, Irving, what's this? It is a, this is a marker. It's a marker, good. Now you, Irving, show us your object and select someone. To someone and ask your question to that classmate. Ahora es su turno, selecciona un objeto y hace la pregunta a su compañero. Hey, me, okay? What's this? Excuse it's me, cool. one second, please. Sure, sure. What it is? Remember, what are these? Uh, what no, are these? Excuse me. Y tengo que seleccionar a, a un yeah. compañero, ¿verdad? Ah, it's okay. Yes. Eduardo José, where, okay. where are these? What are these, yeah. Sir? They are, it's a uh, glasses. They are glasses. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Remember, yes, it is. They, yeah, good. Don't say it's, they are glasses. They are glasses. Uh, okay, Eduardo, you help me. Let's go with you, Eduardo. Show us your object in the camera and select someone. Ask your question to that classmate. Eduardo, it's your talk. Uh, Mercedes. Mercedes, okay. This is a cell phone. No, it's not. No, it's not. Good. Thank you. Now you, Mercedes. Choose a different classmate. It could be a just question or it could be a, 
a obvious question. Is this a pin or what's this? Let's go. What is this? What is ah? Uh, Rolando. Rolando, okay. Rolando. It is a marker. <laughs> like it? <laughs> to be, to be. Lipstick. Uh, okay. Lipstick. 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 Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go with you. Um. Yeah. Paula, Jesenia. Okay. Okay. Paula, Okay. Show us the other again. Oh, okay. What's this? Remember? What like this? What? What's this? What is? It's Ready? a. X and eraser. Yeah. X and eraser. Get again, Paula. X and eraser. Eraser. Yeah. Thank you, Paula. Uh, Rolando, repeat it for me. What's this? What's this? What this? What? What this? What? 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 is? What? 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 This. This. What's yeah. This. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I will continue with Paula. Paula, ask your question to. I have someone in the chat. A second. Ask your question to. Karen, Karen, raise your hand. Karen, what is this? Yeah. What this? What this? It's a pen. It's a pen, good. Again, all of it for me. What's this? What's what this? this? Yeah. Okay, let's go with two more. Karen, now you select a different person. Mm. Alguien que no ha participado. Mirna. Mirna. Ah, que no ha participado, quiero ver. No haya participado. Quiero ver. Que no participe nunca. Creo que todos han participado en esa clase. Alejandro. Eso, ¿no? Alejandro, ¿qué? Okay. Sí, sí. Están en el otro lado. Lo veo, no lo veo. Lo veo. Alejandro. Ah, sí, participo. No, pero le puedes preguntar a él. Solo que no lo veo. Sí, está. Ah, ya lo vi. Ale okay. Alejandro, what this? It's a notebook. Yeah, very good, Alejandro. And now you, Alejandro, please, last person, select another person. Alguien que no ha participado. Pregunta. Uh, what this, tell me. Okay, tell me, yeah. Uh, Muéstralo otra vez. Muéstralo otra vez. What this tell me? Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah uh, it's a uh, uh, it's a uh, you can say a stuffed animal. <laughs> it's a. Es que parece que es el muñeco de 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 de. Será un conejo. Un conejo. Yeah. 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 It's a toy. But it, it's, it's a, a rabbit. It's a, a rabbit. It's 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 a rabbit. But it depends. You can say it's a rabbit or it's a stuffed animal. It's Pretty okay. good. Okay. Well, listen, guys. Uh, I would like to, to continue, but, you know, it's time. And I know that you have to rest. You have to work tomorrow, some of you. Mass of you, I would say, and that's why we're going to start right here. But remember, my advice for you, 
continue practicing. You can ask questions on your own. You can practice along, or you can practice with somebody else. So you can do it. All right. Bueno, preguntas antes de finalizar. Vamos a finalizar acá porque sé que es hora y tienen algunos que probablemente descansar para ir a trabajar. Teacher, dígame. Este, bueno, yo, yo en, en, comprendo a veces muchas cosas de lo que eh, usted transmite. ¿va? El problema es de que yo desconozco de, de, del significado de muchas palabras. Entonces, este, por ejemplo, cuando estoy contestando algo, se me hace difícil comprender ¿va? y a la misma vez contestar. Pero igual, ¿va? yo entiendo, eh, la clase la entiendo muy bien, pero tengo ese problema, esa dificultad. Ok, perfecto. Voy a tomarlo en cuenta y, eh, por ejemplo, si ustedes ven alguna palabra nueva o no saben cómo se dice algo, lo sigo acá en general. Si no saben algo, qué significa o cómo se dice algo, ustedes me pueden preguntar. O si no, les puedo pues, dar una definición, una definición acá. Y pues para que ustedes tengan una idea. La idea es ayudarles. Aunque no, no comprenden algo. You can ask me how do you say in English. Recuerden que la idea es comentar desde ya en inglés. Les decía hace unas clases atrás, si me, me pongo a usar español, ser honesto con los infantes, si me pongo a usar español mucho tiempo, no nos va a costar mucho. No, no es que no vamos a aprender, sino que nos va a costar mucho adaptarnos al inglés. Es que si ustedes quieren saber algo, cómo se dice en inglés, pueden preguntar de esa forma. O, ¿qué nace? Does any word mean? Por ejemplo, what does, I don't know, what does eraser mean? Eraser mean. ¿Cuál es el significado de, de eraser, por ejemplo, si no sabemos cómo, qué significa? O, what's the meaning of and then the word? Podrían ser unas preguntas, algunas preguntas claves para ustedes. Si desean preguntarme, y pues con gusto yo les, les doy el significado de alguna palabra. Voy a hacerlo siempre en inglés. Si no me comprenden, pues puedo decirme en español, pero no me gusta hacer ese caso. Traducir las palabras no, no es tan bueno. El mejor ah, sí, definición es claro, sí. inglés. Claro, claro. Es que sientan sin confianza y si tienen preguntas, pasamos a la hora. ¿Alguien más? ¿Por qué Claro, si creen que voy, lo último, si creen que voy muy rápido, también, me siguen a casos anteriores, interrúmpame. Tengo miedo de hacerlo. Díganme. Miren, no lo entiendo. No lo entiendo, sean honestos. O va muy rápido. No le entendí esa parte. Voy a volver a explicar. Pero eso estamos acá. Okay. Please. All right. Well, guys, this is all for today. Thank you for your time, for your patience. No sé si alguien quería decir algo. Thank you. No? Okay. Well, everybody, thank you so much for being here. Mañana es Pico Meeting, por cierto. Es que no es el jueves. So for today, everybody, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Blessings to you and your families. And remember to stay safe. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.